And now we'll see who Phoebus will take on. I see Norcom taking on the Hampton Crabbers. Would it be a rematch between those two Peninsula District teams if Hampton could win tonight against the Greyhounds? Early on, David Watford finds a target, and the reception is made by number 23, Dion Newsom. And Newsom explodes into the secondary inside the 10 yard line. A great catch and run by Newsom. You gotta love the yards after the carry here. Dave Watford having trouble holding on to the ball, but it'll lead to this uh, field goal attempt here. The kick is up and it is good. Skylar Hutchinson connects. Going into the second quarter, the Crabbers with the early 3 0 advantage. Now Jamal Wright at quarterback for the Greyhounds finds his receiver, Justin Sullivan, who makes the catch. But right now in the shotgun, rolling to his right. Looks toward the end zone, or excuse me, the 10 yard line, finds another target. And Wright was going to try to do it himself with the quarterback keeper, but the Hampton defense stout on the goal line. Now Chevelle Atkins will try to do it on the ground. His efforts are thwarted, and Hampton goes into halftime leading three to nothing. Another strong uh, showing out of the Crabber defense, once again harassing the quarterback here as he makes the scramble. He throws the pass up. The catch is incomplete along that left sideline. Carlos Mills unable to keep his feet in bounds in possession of the football. Now Watford down the seam finds Dallas Cogdell. Matt, how many times have you seen them run this play? We've seen them run it for the last two years. Cogdell just runs it straight up the middle of the field, wide open, and it leads to another Crabber touchdown. Still unstoppable as the Crabbers add to their advantage. Now 10 to nothing as Chevelle Atkins takes the handoff, finds a couple of, a couple of yards downfield. Now Jamal Wright. Again, we'll hand off to Atkins, and Atkins breaks off a tackle but gets thrown out of bounds. The Norcom offense relying on the ground. Atkins unable to do much on the night. Now Jamal Wright rolling to his left, throwing in a double coverage pass is nearly picked off by Desmond Janarek. Once again, you see the Crabber defense there harassing the receiver. Great job on defense. Now the quarterback's going to try and run with it, but you see Dallas Cogdon making a great tackle there in the open field. A great block, but an even better tackle made by Cogdale. 10-0, still the score. Watford, Watford will pitch to Cogdale this time. Cogdale picks up what he can, but back on offense come the Greyhounds. As Jamal Wright, the Eastern District Player of the Year, is going to get picked off by Daquin Moore. And Moore down the far sideline, picks up some blocking. Moore inside the 20, inside the 10, still running. And that sets up great field position for the Crabbers and a chance to put this one away. Watford will take the snap handoff here to the back. Does, can't find a room on the right. He'll reverse field to the left. Get down to the one yard line. Great second effort there. Kevin Bellamy with the second try is going to take it from a yard in as he gets upended into the end zone. 24 0 would be your final score. The Crabbers shut out the Greyhounds, ending a great season for IC Norcom. And Hampton will continue on as they will take on Phoebus next week. David Watford, 8 of 10, 179 yards, and that touchdown.